What's going on you guys, Fico here, and today I wanted to come by and share a little bit of information about an event that is happening next month, or if you're watching in October, this month. But before we get to that later in the video, I want to tell you guys a story that is relevant towards this event. And don't worry, you'll get into the details, it won't be too long, so here goes the story. So I was around seven to eight years old and I ended up in the hospital. Now around that time, it, I was always getting sick. I was under, I mean like underweight and wouldn't eat anything. It wasn't my parents fault, it was just I would not eat and I was always getting sick and I was just hauled to the hospital. I think it was on a Friday. And I was there for like four days, but this was like a late 80s, like the beginning of the 90s. I was I, still, I I was in an isolation ward and I had no one to talk to and I wasn't sure what, what was happening. I didn't know when they were going to come in to prick me for more blood or inject me with medicine or feed me pills. I had no clue. And I felt like I was trapped and no one to talk to and obviously I don't feel like that anymore because I was in the hospital this year but it still worried me while I was there and I know what it felt like when I was a kid so imagine just a kid just stuck in a hospital just all day with no one except your family that can come visit you every so often but they also have to work as well too so it's not like they can be there i think i was there because i was a, i got pneumonia and at that point i was half asthmatic and it got to the point where they just had to haul me in in an ambulance i think and once i was out there i was eating better clearly <laughs> and I, I was uh i never got that sick ever again but during said visit there was actually this one thing which improved my stay exponentially and it was that my dad hauled in a television and brought in my nintendo entertainment system my nes so i remember playing double dragon i remember playing mario i remember playing zelda i was having a blast it's almost as i was if it was almost as if i was at home that was how incredible it was. That's That escape was great. So I loved feeling like I could just escape and have fun while I was in a place where I just couldn't leave. And I hate it when kids are, feel that way. And there are many, 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 many improvements that have gone over the years in hospitals. But one of the most coolest innovations was these 501c charity organizations that our sole purpose is just to do that to provide kids with fun in places like these and one of the said ones is gamers outreach now according to their website uh it was founded in around 2007 as i mentioned there are 501c in which its main goal is to provide equipment technology and software to help cope with treatment inside of hospitals. Now from their website, they say who are we, who we are. We started as a group of high schoolers with a passion for playing video games. After volunteering in our local hospital, we realized that there were specific way, uh, ways games could help children cope with long-term visits. We've since evolved into a community of gaming enthusiasts eager to make a difference for kids in hospitals everywhere now what they do our focus is to support kids and teens throughout the healing process as they undergo treatment in hospitals we equip nurses and child life specialists with the means to make activities and technology accessible ultimately our goal is to create sustainable experiences that produce joy and minimize trauma for patients and i can definitely say that uh me being there at a hospital it definitely provided joy and it definitely made me forget pretty much everything that was going on for a little bit now this is why they say it's important 
Undergoing medical treatment can often be scary and isolating, and especially for young people. I, I, as I mentioned earlier, it was very, like, I literally was isolated from the general population because of my comprised immune system. And I was scared, and I wanted to go home, and it was just, I, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, now back to that, their say. Uh, there is a special need for age-appropriate coping tools in pediatric hospitals. Our programs help aid the healing process by providing relief, socialization, and a sense of norm normalcy to families and patients spending time inside of hospitals. Now there's more information about what they do. Their innovation was something that was called the go-kart, which is this really cool piece of medical equipment in which it's like a, it's like this table that they can transport connected to a monitor with a gaming system hooked up to it which allows you to haul this thing from room to room so you can play video games with kids and they've done stuff like um fundraisers and big charity events specifically under gamers outreach and it's so cool gaming tournaments was how this whole thing started they still do gaming tournaments to this day now what's the point of what i'm trying to do of this whole thing what is the, all this my story gamers outreach have to do with this event well the event that i am doing is going to be a 24-hour charity live stream and it's going to be on october 31st on halloween which is on a Thursday, and it's called Fico's 24-hour Halloween Ghoul Stream <laughs> for Gamers Outreach. Now, the goal of this is going to be obviously to raise money for Gamers Outreach, but we're gonna be playing games, uh, we're going to be doing ghost story readings, maybe a little creepy pasta in my voice modulator, to be great, I'm gonna buy some candles, I'm gonna make this whole thing dark, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm also going to be taking breaks, and when I come back from those breaks, I'm gonna be doing some AMAs. So if you guys wanna ask me anything about anything, <laughs> you guys can go ahead. Now, obviously, if you wanna be a part of this entire thing, if you wanna be gaming with me, I am going to encourage you to whisper me on the private chat on Twitch, join my Discord, and I'm going to leave the link below the description of this as well. I also am going to be doing some milestone stuff, goals as to what we're going to be doing. Our goal is to get around $2,000, but in between, $2,000 sounds like a lot, but we're going to do in between stuff. We're going to unlock some stuff. And there's gonna be moments where it's gonna be just like, wait a minute, now we are going to be doing some of this, and then we're gonna be doing some of that, and hopefully it'll be great. We're also gonna, I'm also gonna to try to see if we can get some games give, gifted away. I'm gonna be raising a little bit of money so I can also get a few game codes, so I'm reaching out to people, see if anybody's interested in helping in any way. <laughs> so that's my goal, to have as much prepared and ready to go for when this happens on Halloween. So for more information about this, I'm going to leave a link below where my Tiltify page is, and that's gonna be where you're gonna to go to make the donations. And I'm also gonna leave information below about Gamers Outreach, their link, details, ways to fundraise, their blog, their social, they have a YouTube channel as well too, so you could see videos of what they do overall to help the kids now guys i encourage you guys to join me i want to raise money for children so they can have some normality so they can be normal feel normal in a very stressful time in a very stressful place a hospital room is a very scary place if you're a kid you don't know what's going on all these beeps and boobs, doctors and nurses and parents and people going in and out. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what's going on here. So, you know, you can have some fun while you're dealing with the pain and the sickness. You can have some good old fashioned bonding time with people around you, uh, other kids as well too, in said hospitals. You can just 
interact and create bonding friendships and it's incredible i the the the, the way that video games have helped me in life and are still helping me in life is absolutely amazing. And I could not have been the person I am today without them. And when I was a kid, I probably would have gone insane in that hospital if it wasn't for that little bit of brevity of fun that I had when I was playing Double Dragon and was trying to beat a bobo and that was fun i just wasn't thinking of anything else except that son of a bitch <laughs> i would like to thank you all for listening and watching and i hope to see you guys on october the 31st on twitch my twitch link is twitch.tv forward slash fico's gaming mind i'm gonna leave also that link below as well as all other links to my socials down below so you guys can reach out to me and ask questions if you guys want to help let me know and we'll see how we can make it to two thousand dollars i want to go over two thousand dollars but two thousand dollars i think it's good <laughs> we're hoping that with the time that i have to plan this whole thing and letting people know i just want to help as much as i can possibly can because i hated that feeling and i don't want any kid who's in a hospital and stuck there for a long time to feel the same way I did. Never. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys coming in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, see you later. My name is Fico and that was my gaming mind. Let's do this for the kids, guys. Let's bust this for the kids. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Bye.